Guys, look who's awake and walking. I can't even show it too much because her boots well, open right now, and the fire got holes on it. And y'all gonna see some stuff y'all ain't supposed to see. Yeah, I push and long story short, turn around. Okay, I feel a lot better now. I feel what like I'm looking good though. Yeah, it looks good. I look like a I'm so sorry, guys. I'm just crying in case there's another patient here. Yeah. You did good, though. Walking yeah. and everything. Yeah. I think it's because I didn't eat. You see me, when I didn't eat, I just start fainting. So yesterday, I didn't feel much at all because I was in so much pain. Um, I would say this morning, last night, was the worst pain ever. Yeah, and, I love that. Yeah. Worse than this morning. Yeah. I think this morning because they gave me the painkiller and they also put the IV with anti antibiotics. So just to make sure, um, the night of the surgery is worse than the next day. Yeah. Okay. Well, I I thought that because this night when I kept waking you up, mm. I was so uncomfortable, and I tried to stand up twice. And I just kept feeling dizzy. Yeah, I remember. I didn't even get the chance to record it because um, I was in so much pain. Yeah. I'm really gutted because I would have loved to have filmed it. Mm. My bad, my bad. I was tired, bro. Sorry. Guys, Miss woke me up in the morning, yeah, like 50 times. Sorry. Bro. <laughs> I'm sorry. I basically didn't sleep, I but. I can't wait till I can sleep in the back again. Mm. Yeah, no. Damn, I look like I've lost weight on my face. Cap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys just a quick little update i'm actually four weeks post up now but i just wanted to cut in the video and say thank you so much for all of the love and support honestly speaking i didn't expect as many of you guys to watch my surgery day vlog only because from the beginning i just had this persona that people are not gonna kind of watch the video because surgery is kind of looked down upon nowadays i don't know why but it just is um but yeah i'm so close to 1000 subscribers so thank you so much and just know that i'm going to be posting updates in terms of my bbl on my body and how it's healing bit by bit so just know those videos are going to come out gradually but yeah thank you so much guys no your face is a tiny bit swollen does it yeah. i look a bit yeah my eyes are definitely puffy eye bags are swollen. yeah I look like a bum, guys. No, you don't. Well, at least I'm walking. Top tip. If you're going to try and start walking, and you're someone like me who has really bad vertigo, eat. Eat and then stand up. I think it's because on the night of the surgery, people tend to get up that don't have that bad of vertigo. And they can do it, like, within an hour. I've seen so many people get a BBL. They wake up from surgery, then within that same day, they end up walking. Mm. I think with me, it was different because I hadn't eaten. <sighs> they did say you feel nauseous and all that crap, but I didn't, luckily. But I think the most pain that I have is on my belly, like down here. It does feel flat, I must say. Does it? Yeah. Like it feels very tight. Oh, so. Mhm. Mm it the, may be swollen. Is that the forehead tightness or like your skin on your? I muscle think the tightness? skin on my muscle is very yeah. tight. I hope they got me snatch snatch. She did see that I had a lot of asymmetry, so she's fixed a lot of the asymmetry because my left side was bigger than my right side. But yeah, other than that, I feel good now. I'm so relieved that I can walk. Vic was so annoyed last night. He said, I didn't sign up for this part. I thought the nurses would do this bit. Guys, <laughs> basically... He hadn't slept. Every hour, I'd wake up twice. But you know what it is? Um, I'm not even complaining. It was just like more of a, oh, damn, I didn't know this was going to be. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, I'm okay How's your throat? My throat was hurting really bad, guys. I think, I don't know what happened. Because the, the surgeon did say on the consultation day that she had a flu. So I thought she had given it to me. It's still hurting now. But it is just a teeny tiny bit sore. Other than that, I feel fine. You good? Yeah. 
How are you feeling? Should have brought my knee pads. Yeah, I was gonna say, do you wanna lay on my, on my slides? No, it's okay. You sure. I'm not meant to look cute on a BBL. I'm sorry. No, absolutely. Except for me, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but guys, the experience is good so far, though. Look at the van room. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys, we just touched down at the hotel. I lost my thing for my hat, but I'm so upset, man. My favourite hat. Yeah, How are you feeling? I'm okay, you can keep my beanie. Your beanie? Okay, Perfect. Yay! I don't know if you guys had a tour down the hotel, you probably have already. But. You need to put the card in the. This is us. Oh yeah, I'll do it on a... Hey guys! Um, I know Vic already told you guys that we're back in the hotel, but my voice is starting to go now. But we're just having, is this lunch or dinner? Lunch. We're having lunch. <laughs> and this is what I had. I just had like this grilled chicken with vegetables and they had like this tomato sauce thing and some potatoes. My voice is going guys, it's going like a lot. But I can now like walk a little bit, like baby steps and I'm also going to the toilet by myself as well. I'm not gonna lie getting onto the bed is a lot easier than getting off the bed but yeah the food at the mono hotel is amazing i'm actually really happy with like everything that they've done so far the medicine they've given me is on the tabletop there's like one two three four that we got given as soon as we checked in that the doctor's gonna tell me like how to use and stuff and i'll also tell you guys about it as well but look i'm swollen all over here my neck is swollen, my chin is swollen, my voice is like shaky, I don't normally sound like this. But I'm also taking three medicines from today. Taking this one called Paral. There's this one, I believe the Paral and this Dex Day one is like a painkiller. And then there's also this one that I have to take after dinner um, and after breakfast, so twice a day. And then I also take the pain this painkiller twice a day, but then the next day one three times a day. So in terms of medication, that's what I'm taking so far. But yeah, I'm super swollen. I was super concerned, but apparently it's very normal. But at least I'm going to the toilet myself. Um, Vic has to help me like wipe. But other than that, I'm good. It's just a little bit sore. I would say that last night definitely by miles was the worst pain I was ever in but it wasn't to the point where I was like oh my god I can't do it like I had to push myself also with these type of things if you don't push yourself and you don't do things yourself like getting out of the bed it also like prevents you from healing a lot quicker so try your best to move around yourself I'm getting up every hour going to the toilet walking around but yeah mm -mm -mm. do you want to say anything babe no not really i'm naked oh my god okay guys i'll see you later i'm gonna keep you updated sorry for talking with my mouth full yuck hey guys it's 8 21 and i'm about to take my painkillers because the pain is really starting to kick in I was told that two of the um, painkillers, the boxes that I have, I should take them in eight hour intervals. One of them is three times a day, the other is twice a day. And then I also have one that I have to eat after we had dinner. What did you get me again? Um, grilled chicken. You got me grilled chicken? Yeah, yeah I remember. No, for now. Oh, right now I got you, uh, I got two things, I got grilled meatballs and... For you. Let me check. And I think I got soup. Yeah, soup. Yes. I just want to have soup because, guys, when I pee, there's blood. <laughs> Apparently, it's normal. I asked the doctor, but I'm really starting to feel pain all over my body now. It's not pleasant. So hopefully, after I've eaten, 
um, I'll have taken both painkillers and also one of the tablets that I'm meant to take after dinner. And I'll let you guys know how I feel. But yeah, this is painful. Every time it gets uncomfortable laying on my belly, I have to stand up. Standing up, I would say, is the hardest part. Laying back on the bed is a little bit easier. But when I eat, I tend to eat on my knees. <clears throat> my throat is killing me. And I was told that I need to drink three litres of water a day. I think I've only had around about... I think I've had roughly about that, right? Yeah, you've had about roughly three, yeah. Since this morning. Because yeah. I've started drinking early, early, early in the morning, so... Yeah. I think I'm good. No, I just finished one 500ml bottle about an hour ago. But yeah, I'll show you the food when it comes, guys. Mm-mm. How'd you feel? Mm-mm. My hips are gonna pop. Is it bad? It's really bad. Ah! I think I need to go to the toilet again. It's been approximately 24 hours since you woke up. What are you saying? It feels the worst now. Yeah. Damn. Mm. Mm. Guys better be prepared. Mm. Oh my god. I understand why they cry. Is that fuck. painful? Oh my god. But does it hurt your belly or your hips? Mm, your everywhere. Your ribs. That's the food, guys. <laughs> Is that one more? Okay. Uh, meatballs? Okay, yeah, yeah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, thank you. Hey. What? You're gonna need to... Go to the toilet. You're gonna need to the toilet? Yeah. Okay. I'm in a lot of pain, babe. Alright, guys, so I misordered the meatballs. So, how's this? So, how sorry, misordered soup. So, that's hers and the bread. Mine's in the middle. And let me get our two waters. Ah. Yeah, yes, sir. Oh. Get up. Guys, it's, it's pain, bro. Unless all well, you guys that think you can do shit by yourself, I highly recommend you go with a friend. If you ain't got no friends, go with a family member because oh. this shit is not. It, it's not games. Games stop when you take that flight. Regardless where you go, going, oh, Turkey, fuck. Dominica, Colombia. It's pain, bro. Oh my god, it feels like I'm getting stabbed. Shit. I hope you can miss it. Ready. Yeah, we're gonna try and go for a walk outside. It's like ten something. I've already mentioned that I took my pills, but I forget. How many pills? Um, oh, there's like four packs of pills, but I didn't start all of them today. I'm gonna start fresh tomorrow because I was given them like midday. But we're literally about to go for a walk. We've just come out to the lounge and this Lovely little guy was just it. chilling. This little guy was literally chilling here. But this is like the outside lounge area that is a part of the Mono Clinic Hotel, which is super cute. Is there a waterfall? That's a waterfall, isn't yeah. it? But yeah, he's just chilling there. That's cute. It's, it's 3.55. Yeah, it's 3.55 a.m. And honest to God, sleeping with anybody is not easy my neck is aching i have a very small neck so when i'm sleeping on my front it's making it ache really bad and the maximum amount of time that i can sleep on my front is for like an hour or two then i wake up it's not easy so if you're someone who's used to sleeping on your stomach obviously it's going to be a lot easier for you but because i have two incisions right under my boobs as well i can't even wear a bra and my boobs also ache as well. And here and here is just killing me all over. I can't even sleep. How long has it been since you got your surgery? About 30 hours, isn't it? 35? It's been about. Today at a 6 day. p.m. was. It's been a day. No, it's been a bit more. Today at 6 p.m. was 24 hours. So right now the time is needed. It's been nearly um, towards 36 hours. Um, 30, 33 hours, yeah. It's not easy. Well, I can't do it. <laughs> you can. Oh, fuck. 
You have no choice, kind of thing. I can't even sleep with a pillow. Mm. Yeah, you're forced to sleep flat. Like your body just won't even let you go on to the side. And if you can't stay on your stomach, you're automatically wanting to stand up. I don't even want to sleep standing if I can, but I don't even think that's possible. <laughs>